In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, good people of God. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. Today is Monday, the 7th of October, 2024. It is Monday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time, Church Ye Be. Today is the memorial of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We use the readings proper to the memorial. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1 verses 12 to 14. The responsorial psalm is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1. The response to the psalm has an option. Either, He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Or, O blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, Chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. Our meditation is drawn from the first reading. After Jesus was taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. And when they had entered, they went up to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas the son of James. All these, with one accord, devoted themselves to prayer, together with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. The word of the Lord. Thanks to God. The theme for today's meditation is Pray the Rosary for Victory Over Temptation and Sin. Pray the Rosary for Victory Over Temptation and Sin. Dear good people of God, the Catholic Church has dedicated the month of October each year to praying the Holy Rosary. The practice is commonly referred to as October Devotion. October is the month of the Holy Rosary. It is not as if we do not pray the Rosary during the other months. But the month of October is very special and the prayer of the Rosary is very intense. Even if you don't pray the Rosary, don't miss praying it in the month of October. And if you do pray it daily, very beautiful. You should pray it even more devotedly during this month of October. Just like the month of November is dedicated to praying for souls in purgatory, not that we pray for them only in the month of November, but that month, prayer for them is more intense. 
The memorial of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary is celebrated in the month of October. The memorial is today, October 7. But why October, you may want to know. On the 7th of October, the year 1571, the Catholic naval forces from Spain, Venice and Genoa in Italy, under the command of Don Juan of Austria, defeated the Turkish fleet, a Muslim force that sought to destroy Christianity and transform the entire Christendom into Islam religion. This victory was attributed to Mary's intercession through prayers of the Rosary. It was Pope Pius V who called for all of Europe to pray the Rosary for victory. The victory of the Christian forces saved our great heritage from being destroyed and from Islamic invasion. In honor of this victory recorded in the month of October, the month of October therefore was dedicated to praying the Holy Rosary. It was first called a Lady of Victory because of the victory at the Battle of Lepanto. It was later renamed a Lady of the Holy Rosary by Pope Clement XI in the year 1716. Through Mary's intercession, when we pray the Rosary, God will grant us victory over our enemies and all troubles in our lives and families. Through Mary's intercession, God will grant us graces to fight temptation and sin. Mary overcame sin. And this is what we pray when we recite the Holy Rosary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Secondly, at Mary's apparition in Fatima, she described herself as, I am the Lady of the Rosary. And at Fatima, she taught us to pray the rosary every day. So let us ask ourselves, do I pray the rosary? Do you pray the rosary? Do you pray it devotedly? As you pray it, pray for conversion of sinners. Pray for victory over sin. Many who pray the rosary will testify to many answered prayers thanks to their praying the rosary. Well, some non-Catholics question Catholics praying the rosary that the rosary is not biblical. But that is a funny thing to say. The word rosary may not be found in the Bible, but the rosary prayer is found in the Bible. The word rosary comes from the Latin word rosa, meaning rose. That is the reason the beads of the rosary are like roses. So with each Hail Mary that we say, as it were, we send a rose to our Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary. Hence the name Rosary. The prayer of the rosary are the words of the Archangel Gabriel to Mary at the Annunciation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. These are the words of the Archangel Gabriel to Mary found in the Bible and they are the opening words of the Hail Mary prayer of the Rosary. They are also the words of Elizabeth to Mary at the visitation. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. These were words of honor and praise addressed to Mary. If God honored Mary, if the archangel and Elizabeth said words of honor to her, we do nothing out of place. We are only joining our voices to theirs to give her honor. In fact, we are only repeating the words that they used. The second part of the Hail Mary solicits her intercession. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Some say and ask, why pray through Mary when we, when we can pray directly to God? The church teaches us to pray to God. Yes, Jesus is the only mediator. But we can also pray through Mary because at the wedding in Cana in Galilee, Mary played such a great role of interceding for the couple. Imagine the embarrassment they would have gone through. Mary saw. 
the party was running out of wine. And she beckoned her son, Jesus, Look, son, they have no wine. You've got to do something. And we are told Jesus performed his first miracle even when it was not yet his time, just because his mother had asked. Therefore, he cannot deny his mother anything. So yes, you do no wrong should you pray to God directly. Of course, all our prayers are directed to God. But there is a technical advantage to pray to God through Mary. At the foot of the cross, Jesus entrusted his mother to the apostle. Son, behold thy mother. Mother, behold thy son. So he gives his mother to us. And whatever we need, we can go through her. Not that if we go directly to God, God will not give it to us. But we have an added advantage. This means we direct our prayers to God and pray to him. And we beg him for things we need. We only solicit Mary's intercession. That is, she adds her voice to ours. The rosary prayer contemplates the life and the mysteries of Jesus' life. The Annunciation, the Visitation, the Nativity, the Presentation, the Finding in the Temple, all are about the life and mystery of Jesus. The Agony in the Garden, the Scourging at the Pillar, the Crowning with Thorns, the Carrying of the Cross, the Crucifixion, the Sorrowful Mysteries, all are about the life of Jesus. The Resurrection, the Ascension, the descent of the Holy Spirit, all the glorious mysteries are centered on the life of Jesus. The baptism, the manifestation at the wedding of Cana, the proclamation of the kingdom of God, the transfiguration, the institution of the Eucharist, the mysteries of light, all center and focus on the life of Jesus. So in praying the rosary, we contemplate mysteries surrounding the life of Jesus. Dear God, good people, pray the rosary. It is an added advantage that you have. Yes, you can pray directly to God. But when you pray the rosary, Mary adds her voice to yours. And Jesus, who could not deny his mother anything, who performed his first miracle, even when it was not his time, just because he listened to his mother, what can he deny you when you ask of him, passing through his mother? That is why we say through Mary to Jesus. And of course, even logically and by way of analogy, we know that if we need things from our father, our daddy here on earth, we go through our mother because our mothers know how to put it well to our fathers. This is the role Mary plays. She is an intercessor. She is not God. We don't pray to her to give us things. We pray to God to give us things, begging Mary to join her voice to our own so that her son, who can never deny her anything, if she begs on her behalf, Jesus will grant to us. Pray the rosary and make the rosary a strong weapon in your arm. And I tell you, God will give you the graces to fight temptation and to overcome sin. Amen. O Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. We wish a happy feast day to all the missionary sisters of the Holy Rosary and to institutions named after a lady of the Holy Rosary. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <music>